This is tutorial number 46, and it covers how to create annotations within your drawings in SOLIDWORKS. Now to start off, we're going to use the drawing that we created in tutorial number 45. Now to put annotations into the drawing, all you have to do is click Annotations, and you're able to choose from a variety of different annotations to insert. Now one of the most common ones that you'll be using is the Smart Dimensioning. Now when you click it, you're able to show the dimensions of the part. So let's say we want to show how thick it is from there to there. So let's click this line and this line. And when you pull it out, it shows and it reads that it's 10 millimeters in height. Now we can also do one from here to here. And we can show that it's 18.05 from each divot inside of the drawing. Click OK. And you're able to dimension pretty much every single aspect of the part by using the Smart Dimensioning tool. Now you're also able to add notes into the drawing. So let's click Note. And let's click on top of this view. And let's just type in Isometric View. Click outside of the box. And there you go. Click OK and now you have the title of the isometric view. You can add more detailed notes talking about the part. Now you're also able to add geometric tolerances. Now when you click this and you click the symbol, it shows you a bunch of different kind of tolerances you can put into the part, such as flatness, circularity, cylindricity, and it's just a bunch of different geometric tolerances of a part. So for the cylindricity, it's how circular the cylinder is when you're creating it and it's the tolerancing that you're going to give it so say you're making a cylinder and you need it to be correct to 0 0.1 millimeters and you would write that in now click ok and you're also able to insert datum features and also surface finishes now with the surface finish you can insert how or where you're not allowed to machine the part such as this is machining prohibited and for this one, it's machining required. So it's up to you and the different part of what you're going to have to do. So let's just say machining required there and also there. Click OK. And that's just to show how to get the surface finish to what you want it to be. And that concludes our tutorial on how to add annotations to a SOLIDWORKS drawing.